Whether you're a professional designer or you're just getting started, these plugins are a game changer. So sit back, relax, and get ready to discover some of the best Figma plugins available on the market. Red Bull! I know for a fact that the default way to choose the fonts in Figma is ugly. You can't see the preview of the fonts if not by going through all of them and selecting them one by one, and I don't understand that. If you don't remember the exact name, you need to take a guess, write the first letters in the search box, and then pray that you've got the right one. Otherwise, you need to waste a lot of time searching for the one that you're looking for. With Better Font Picker, you basically have the same view that you have on Photoshop. Basically, you have all the preview of the fonts that you and the typefaces that you have on your computer. And this is super handy, for example, in a scenario where you have a new project and you need to choose the right typeface for the project. Instead of going through all your typefaces in in your computer throughout the default uh, Figma font picker, you can download this plugin and everything is going to be way faster. For instance, here I have some text uh, and let's say that I want to pick a font that is really bold and tall. And with the default font picker in Figma, it's really tough and time consuming because as I said, it pisses me off that I don't have uh, the preview of the fonts. So instead of doing things that way, I can choose, uh, I can select the text, uh, go with plugins uh, and choose a better font picker and I have the preview of all the fonts that I have. So I have a rough idea on what to keep and what to discard. Definitely a super handy plugin that I highly recommend it to you to save a lot of time. Based on the fact that we all love 3D elements and mockups, we are going to discover the next plugin, which is Vectory 3D. Let's say, for instance, that you've done an home page for the mobile version of the website, for a website, and I want to choose to display this design in a more fancy way. Select the frame, right-click on it, and then we are going to choose Vectory 3D as our plugin and you can already see that we have a beautiful iPhone on the screen. Of course, it's not a PNG or a still image, but it's an actual 3D model, so we can change the view angle of the mockup. We have a lot of settings that we can change, for example, the shadows, we can toggle between the two views. We have some environmental settings, for example, the light, we have a lot of presets and we can change the intensity and the rotation of the lights. Material settings, right now we have a fairly simple object, so we don't have a lot of materials, but we can change some properties of the materials and at the end some basic settings for the scene for example the field of view or the you can resize the wind of the plugin nothing fancy but it's good to have them now because we have previously selected the frame that we want to put in our mockup is extremely simple to create the entire scene basically go and click apply frame and the plugin has processed the, the scene but it's extremely easy and fast and as you can see we have our design in the iphone screen perfectly scaled and everything we click finish and then you have the mockup in your Figma file. In that way you can wow your clients with your designs and it's a super fancy way to present your work. You can use other models, there is one for the pa for a packaging design, for the iMac, so for the desktop version of a website and other things, so you can play with them. Let's stop for a second and if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to leave a like. My friend, if you're serious about UI animations, you know that you need to use After Effects. And I know that there is the prototype functionality and you can create all the animations in Figma, but you don't have the same freedom that you have with After Effects. And all the Adobe XD users stick with Adobe XD because they have in the integration with After Effects, so they can take their designs from the software to After Effects. But with this plugin that I'm going to show you, you can do the exact same, so you can go from Figma to After Effects with just one click, so you don't have excuses anymore to stick with Adobe XD. I'm talking about AEUX, and if you don't know how to install it, I have a full video, so go check it out. You basically select the frame that you want to animate and to have in After Effects, you go on Plugins, Development, you select AEUX, and from now, it's extremely easy to go in After Effects. So you basically click this little button, and voila! You have your entire composition in After Effects, and you're ready to go and to animate your design. I use this plugin every single day, and every single time that I have to do, create a new project and a new animation so I highly recommend you to download it and to use it. Moving on with the next one I'm talking about Print for Figma and it's extremely easy to use but I find a lot of value in this plugin because you have all the presets for the various prints. We have a lot of categories for example in miscellaneous uh, the ones that I use the most are poster and business cards. On the right side of the panel we have the width and height of the canvas and we can change these values. Uh, we have the unit uh, in my case uh, I'm in Europe so I use millimeters and in page 
images, we can choose how many canvas we are going to generate for this project. Uh, we can also choose uh, to add margins, uh, bleed and crop marks, uh, and uh, some advanced settings. It is a pretty complete plugin. And if we click on create, we can see that we have all the canvases ready to go and we can start designing. So if you're a graphic and brand designer, just use this plugin because you're going to save a lot of time and you're going to make sure that your sizes and aspect ratios are right. Last but not least is a plugin called Plush. If you're a super fan of vector illustrations, this plugin is gonna drive you crazy. We have a lot of illustrations available and it's not finished yet because we can choose and personalize whatever we want of the models. For instance, let's say that we wanna choose this floating female and we have a lot of options that we can choose choose from we have the head so the hairstyle the expression of the face this seems pretty fun so let's go with that and we can add accessories so it's pretty crazy guys after you have finished with the personalization of your model you can use it in your design you can resize it and you have a perfect png of your model just to give you an idea of how crazy personalization is in this plugin let's go in cityscapes and select the downtown which is the free alternative the free version uh, between all the illustrations and then you can personalize all the buildings and the cars so it's pretty crazy guys basically with that you can have your personalized and unique vector image uh, and you can use it in your design as you prefer they are also high quality so another advantage to use this plugin well friends uh, this is a super fast video but at least uh, i hope that you found all these plugins helpful uh, and let me know in the comments down below which one did you know and which one didn't you smash the like button subscribe to the channel and I hopefully see you in the next video.